Welcome back to the first Leagues 3 video in honestly quite some time. With its initial release being pushed back due to being so close to Group Iron Man, it kind of just faded away into the shadows. But now it's been a couple of months and we're kind of nearing where it's just around the corner. Its new launch date is still set for January 19th and it will run through the end of March 2nd. Regardless, after being on the back burner for quite some time, today they actually released some massive info surrounding Shattered Relics, and that is the release of an entirely new fragment, and the first official fragment that we've actually ever seen. Prior to this, we really had no specific information except for how they really planned to lay them out, which was like the incremental 100% to 200% to 300% levels. Other than that, we hadn't seen any official word on any fragment until today. This video is probably going to be short and sweet considering we don't have a ton of new info except for what's on this page right here. But I felt it was necessary to share it because I hadn't really seen it be mentioned anywhere other than on their Twitter. With that being said, our first official fragment is called the Mother's Magic Fossils. And the level 1 of this fragment is the chance of obtaining fossils on Fossil Island and Motherlone Mind Gold Nuggets are increased by 100%. And the Mage Training Arena points received are also increased by 100%. And this scales by 200% with level 2 and 300% with level 3. Meaning if you do have the level 3 of this fragment, you are getting an absolutely absurd amount of fossils, Motherlode Mine Gold Nuggets, and Mage Training Arena points. And while this is definitely kind of like a niche fragment, this is really how a lot of these fragments are going to work. There are going to be a ton of different ones that are going to have very specific uses that basically just allow you to be incredibly effective at one part of the game. And then whenever you're done with that, you just take those off, apply some other ones, and then just be really good at doing something else. For example, if there are tasks surrounding like getting full Prospector or maybe getting full Infinity or just Infinity Boots, you're going to kind of want to wait until you potentially get one of these fragments before you really go doing that type of content. Outside of that though, I would say probably the best aspect of this entire fragment has to be the obtaining fossils on Fossil Island. If you're rocking the level 3 tier, having a 300% increased chance. If you prioritize doing a lot of content on Fossil Island, you could really gain a passive effect of getting yourself banked some serious prayer XP. Completely unexpectedly and literally mid-recording of this video, they actually released a second fragment to go with the first one, and this one is called the Golden Brick Road. And the level one is when a Mark of Grace is spawned, 4k coins will spawn with it. The level two is the exact same thing, except you will get 7k coins. And level three, you will get 15k coins with every Mark of Grace that spawns. I don't know about you, but this sounds like a much more enjoyable way of training agility. Not only are you still getting the Marks of Grace, but you're getting decent XP rates depending on the course you're using, and you're still getting GP all at the same time. It's kind of a two for one where in comparison you would kind of get worse rates doing the agility pyramid, and you would miss out on the Marks, but using this fragment you would really get the best of both worlds. All in all, I'm definitely happy with the two fragments they decided to release today. I don't know what else they have planned for in the future, but they have confirmed in this tweet that we can expect to see some more news regarding Leagues 3 coming in early 2022 before release. And really looking forward to whatever else they have in store in terms of fragments. These two in themselves are pretty cool and unique, and I'm sure some of the other ones are going to really shake up some metas around the game. But with that, I hope you guys enjoyed the video or found it helpful, and if you did, consider liking it and subscribing to the channel if you want to see more in the future. And if you'd like to enter yourself in an old school giveaway, make sure you check out my Christmas PVM series. I'll link it in the top of the description, and potentially give yourself a chance to win a little extra GP this holiday. With that, I hope you guys have a great day, and I'll catch you in the next video.